a sociologist. And uh, I really don't know what he came to that. This used to be his living room. Uh, currently, it's been transformed into what we call the Pan African Gallery. A lot of the paintings you see on the walls and the pictures basically have to do with African history and culture. Uh, the one on my left has to do with uh, African history during pre-colonial pre times. Sorry, uh, these were period. Uh, these were the period when colonialism uh, hadn't uh, come into Africa. Africa had its own civilization. A lot of times, some of us grew up and uh, were taught about civilization being brought into Africa by uh, the white man, uh, which uh, those of us who went further to read history later found out it wasn't really true. Mm -hmm. And so we have the people like people like uh, Cleopatra, some of the influential rulers of those times, Cleopatra of Egypt, and then uh, Mansa Musa of Mali, the Mali Kingdom, and then uh, Sami Ali of Songa Empire, Hannibal of Carthage, uh, that's Ben Hadzin of the Kingdom of Dahomey. Uh, Kingdom of Dahomey is noted for its rise in slave trade back then, uh, during uh, the slave era, the slave trade era. And then this uh, is Menelik II, the, the king of uh, Abyssinia. Abyssinia currently is Ethiopia. This is probably going to be the smartest marketing tool that the same business ever deal with black people. You know, you see it she uh, actually did the illustration. Yeah. It was yeah. great kings and queens of Africa. Yeah, you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had it's a calendar. No. Well, I had it when I was a kid. Aside to two, uh, Idris Aluma, Moshosho, Shaka, Akinaten. Uh, the list goes on. These are all uh, the great kings of those times.